Hey, you may have seen it in the news that the DeLorean is coming back. It's making a comeback. Thank you to all of you guys who have tagged me in the news and stuff on social media. I really appreciate it. I usually talk about video games and movies and stuff, but this kind of relates. It's one of my favorite things ever. Let the resident DeLorean fanboy tell you all about the DeLorean news. I got a lot more information than you might know. I also kind of have a rough idea of what it might look like. So let's just jump in. Now, uh, so as you guys know, I freaking love this car. Yes, shout out to all the people in the comments who are gonna go, you know, Jake, it, it's mechanically not very sound. Uh, yes, uh, <laughs> it has a history of problems and it of course ultimately ended up being a bust of a car uh, only to be kind of revived by the popularity of Back to the Future. But th that's part of the whole reason why I've always loved this car and taken such an interest to it. It's just all the weird stories behind it. Uh, the, the, the moral to the story, if you will. It's a pretty long one with lots of weird twists and turns. I love the way the car looks. I've always loved the way the car looks. Obviously, I really like Back to the Future, but I, I actually like the car more, which is crazy. I like them when they're not all time machined out. I just think it's a really cool, sick 80s car. And uh, so the new one is really interesting. So the tease, you may have seen it. You may have even seen it on television. It aired uh, during the Super Bowl pregame show in all the major cities and networks, and that costs a lot of money. So it, it seems like this time, DeLorean Motor Company is serious. Now, DeLorean Motor Company still exists, believe it or not, despite the car failing. Uh, it kind of is like a, a new brand sitting on all parts. They service cars, they take care of cars, old cars, they sell cars, they have franchises around the United States, and uh, the main entity of it, uh, DMC Houston, ha has for years tried to bring the DeLorean back. They wanted to either keep making new ones in the old style with some of the old parts like the stainless steel panels on the outside, you know, super iconic stuff. And it's kind of in the DeLorean community become a little bit of a running joke f for years now. It's like every other year they've announced since the early 2000s, like we're bringing it back. We're bringing back to DeLorean. This anniversary, it's coming back. And it just never ended up happening. But this time it seems to be different. Now you ask some DeLorean fans, they're gonna go, ah, they're amateurs, they don't know what they're doing, they're never gonna get anything out. Uh, but in the past, they've been held back a lot by uh, small car manufacturing regulations. Uh, apparently, they were held down by specific laws uh, where you couldn't do small volume batches of new cars. It's, it's a weird, like, political, local, like, yellow red tape type of thing. Yellow red tape, I don't know. But they're moving forward because finally, it seems like the laws have loosened and changed in their favor from what I know. Things are different this time around because uh, they incorporated a, a new company, a, a new part of DeLorean to do this. Uh, the paperwork says that this was set up early last year and they've hired a bunch of people seemingly legit car execs that at least sort of know what they're doing. Uh, sleuths have found that DeLorean has brought on board a bunch of electric car people, uh, higher ups uh, from stuff like Karma. Karma is a small uh, like luxury electric vehicle manufacturer. Also, another thing worth noting that a lot of people missed is San Antonio has announced that this whole thing is going down in San Antonio and it's going to add 450 jobs to the community. This of course works out because San Antonio does have a bit of a history with manufacturing some cars and electric vehicles. And this time around, thanks to the tease, we know that this new DeLorean, this new luxury DeLorean is going to be an electric vehicle. Which to me, to be honest, can kind of make sense because the original DeLorean wasn't necessarily known for its horsepower or the specific engine it had in, inside of it. Fun fact, in Back to the Future, the sound that the DeLorean time machine makes, that is not the vehicle's actual sound at all. So not only did they seem serious this time with them spending money on the Super Bowl uh, and them staffing up with uh, people who can seemingly get things done and get this out there. Uh, it also, the, the tease suggests something that we've seen uh, a few years back and something that was teased by Ital Design. Now Ital Design actually technically designed the original DeLorean. Ital Design is Giorgetto Giugiaro's company, a uh, famous Italian designer uh, who designed the original DeLorean. He's also famous for designing a bunch of other cool shit. Obviously a lot of other cars, uh, but also cool stuff like Ripley's watch in Aliens. So a couple of months ago, Ital Design did tease something DeLorean a while back. Uh, Ital Design has also been working on something called the Da Vinci uh, a while back, and we have a look at what that looks like, see here, and this, 
te technically matches up with the silhouette, the Gullwing Door silhouette of this new teased DeLorean. It also has a V type of thing in the teaser, which goes along with the Da Vinci design. So in a lot of ways, they could have uh, purchased this design and this is what they're going with and this is what they're going to manufacture into a new DeLorean electric vehicle. Now, to me, I, I, I'm kind of like out on this one because I prefer the original car either way, the old original thing, the history behind it, the fact that it was made in Northern Ireland with people's bare hands, the look of the car, you can't really like totally recreate that. So this new one, if this turns out to be the new DeLorean, which it's looking like it could somewhat look like this, maybe they'll paint it silver to match the stainless steel look. Maybe they're gonna go with stainless steel panels again. Sick. Uh, <laughs> this car does look a little bit like a modern Audi mixed with a Model S that just happens to have gull wing doors. I look at it, I see it's like, oh, clearly a nice, expensive luxury car, if a little bit generic. Now is this probably overpriced, fancy vehicle really kind of losing sight of the idea behind the original? Maybe in some ways. The cynical side of me does look at this type of car and just see it cashing in on the name, which is a bummer, who knows? And again, keep in mind, this isn't confirmed that this is exactly what it's gonna look like. I think there's a good likelihood, but we don't know. Some things can definitely change. I think it might look a little different as a final product, but a rough idea. But it could be big. The DeLorean name can kind of, you know, if they play their cards right, which they're trying, they put out like that like little pre Super Bowl ad, uh, it could really become something. Just think about like all those like super rich YouTubers that buy Pokemon. I just bought a Charizard for a million dollars. Like picture all of them making videos going, I just bought the new DeLorean. We could probably see that if they play their cards right, if this thing is actually cool, and if they actually accomplish it. Like I said, DeLorean has kind of fumbled things in the past with an, an announcing certain things and never really following through with it. This, I think, is different, and at the very least, it's a new design and it doesn't take away, it doesn't use up the parts for the old existing vehicles, you know, the actual historical cars, which is cool. But then on the other hand, like you could still like chalk up some of this to being amateur hour, essentially, uh, as they have on their new website, they have a, they have a store page and it <laughs> <laughs> All right, I was like, okay, the new logo is like, eh, okay, whatever, but they have merch. Oh, cool, let's check, check out the merch. I guess they're trying to go for like a high-end luxury thing. They're trying to put that out there, right? Black t-shirt with the logo, not even the best logo, 50 bucks. Uh, a hoodie, a zip up hoodie, like a, a Zuckerberg ass regular hoodie is $135. Full disclosure, I've, I've bought their merch before, but this takes it to a different level. This is, this is ridiculous. But the whole thing really, it's just interesting as somebody who reads all the DeLorean books, tries to know as much of the history about it as I can, who follows all them, who is in the community. Uh, the DeLorean name coming back out, uh, being in people's mouths once again is kind of exciting, is kind of cool. It is a celebration of a car that many of us fell in love with years ago. And it seems like instead of just trying to like do the nostalgia thing completely, they're trying to take the name and take it to higher heights, a newer, fancier, nicer electric vehicle. That's easier said than done, of course. If you watch uh, tech YouTubers out there, you probably know the ins and outs of a lot of smaller manufacturer electric vehicles. And uh, it might be to quote Leo, the way of the future, but uh, it, it has a long way to go. But this was exciting, it was big news, and I, I got excited with everybody like tagging me and sending me the links. It was really cool to just see that announcement, bam, right there. Uh, also, shout out to the DeLorean community, uh, DeLorean Fanatics, DeLorean Nation, uh, DMC Talk, all those places for kind of taking all this information and, and picking it apart and diving in. From you guys out there, I definitely wanna know if you wanna see more videos like this. I know these are probably gonna be the least viewed videos on my channel, but it's fun. I'm just doing what I love here on this channel. I'm just talking about shit I love and I just happen to like this. And it's nerd adjacent, right? It's like adjacent to your interests, right? I don't know. Thanks for humoring me if you are here. Let me know if you wanna see more of these types of videos, especially once this thing is actually officially revealed. I got one other uh, video game industry DeLorean fanboy I can think of uh, that we might collaborate and make something cool out of that. Tease, 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 hmm, hmm, hmm. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about this car. If you pay attention to the history of DeLorean, I would definitely 
Love to know what you think, given DMC Houston's track record. Or just, you're just some regular person, say, with $100,000 to blow on a fancy new electric vehicle DeLorean. Let me know if you're in or you're out, your expectations, your hopes, your wishes, your dreams. It's a fun conversation. But thank you for being here. If you do appreciate this DeLorean content, the like button legitimately helps me. Thank you. I don't know what I'm doing here. Uh, but I'm Jake Baldino. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe because video games. Pizza's on me.